I learned how to sell anything in the world. So I decided to open up businesses where I would talk to people and sell stuff because that was a skill that I acquired. So I drew from my past, but I didn't stay in my past. So what's the next one? Understanding. Okay, the reason why we, we have to understand this moment is because you have an amazing opportunity. And if you let this opportunity slip by, you may not be able to get it back again. So you have to own this moment, you have to assess this moment, and you have to make it a priority. The only things that you will ever accomplish are the priorities you set and the things that you tell yourself that no is not an option to. If you make no an option, you'll always say no because it'll get easier. So when it becomes too hard, when it becomes too stressful, when you don't know what to do, you're going to revert back to the no because you gave yourself that option of a no. So you have to look at this moment and you have to say, I've done too much to make it here. I refuse to go back. I remember sitting in jail at 4 in the morning while everybody else was asleep and writing in a notepad what I would do once I got a chance to live again. Once I finally got my freedom back, what I would do with it. I saved all of those notebooks. And when I got out of jail, every time I wanted to give up or I wanted to do something stupid, I went back and I read how important it was for me to just have this moment again. Because when you get in that moment, you cannot let anything rob you of your moment. Like how many of y'all look at this opportunity you have right now and you feel sorry for people in your neighborhoods or people who you who still are where you were because they're not here? So what kind of justice would you be doing to them if you let this moment slip by you? How many people have children in this room? If you don't change your, your life in this moment, what do you think your child's life is going to be? How many people have friends who died along the way? If you don't take advantage of this moment, that means their life didn't mean anything because you let them be a part of your life and everything they taught you, you just let it go by. I, when I wrote my first book, I dedicated each chapter of my book to one of my friends who I watched die in the hospital because it reminded me how important it was to write the next chapter and to not stop and to not give up because I had to make their memories and their moments and the struggles they went through, I had to make it mean something.